Hey folks, this is Kalani. Welcome back to the Hellfire Citadel Raid Guide for Normal and Heroic. This time we'll be looking at Shadow Lord Iskar. This fight can be a little problematic at first because there's a new mechanic here. You need to pick up the Eye of Anzu and you need to pass it between the players in the raid to get rid of certain debuffs. Now, as for positioning, you want your range to be at the back left of the room and your melee and tanks to be somewhere in the middle with the boss. You don't want to be too far back though. The main ability here is Phantasmal Winds. This is the eye, really. If you can't pass the eye, this is going to kill you repeatedly until people learn, so I'd recommend installing something like Iskar Assist, which is an add-on which gives you a little raid frame, it shows who has wind, you can left click on them, you'll pass the eye. With this add-on and people paying attention, you can get rid of the Phantasmal Winds in under 3 seconds. So install that add-on and kill Iskar. It's, it's kind of ridiculous. Most of his other abilities are very easy to deal with. The first one is Phantasmal Wounds. This is a damage over time effect which just needs to be healed. As soon as they go above 90% health, it disappears. Next up is Fel Chakram. This is going to target a ranged melee and tank. Ranged go out of the range group somewhere towards the center of the room. Melee go out of the melee to the left and forward. Tank go to the right and forward. And then you should have a clear path for the Chakram to do a triangle and come back to the boss. Make sure the Chakram only hits the players targeted when it's moving. The last ability you need to deal with is Fell Incineration. A laser is going to start chasing one of your raid members, dropping fire as they kite it. Just kite that to the back left of the room wherever you can. Make sure to keep the center clean. This is because at 80, 55 and 30% health, this guy is going to go to phase 2. He'll fly away, summon some adds and start using Focus Blast. This will deal a huge amount of damage in a line, so your range need to stack up in the middle of the room, in line with your melee for Iskar, and that will take care of that ability. Remember to keep your fire clean to the left wherever possible. If it spawns on the right, keep it to the right. Just keep the center clean. That's very important. The first mob is Illusionary Outcast. It's just a trash mob, AoE it down whenever you can, it really doesn't do anything special. In the first phase, you'll get one Corrupted Priest of Terrox. This is going to start putting bombs on players. One of the bombs can be dispelled. A healer needs the Eye of Anzu to dispel that bomb. But when you go into the second phase 2 at 55%, you'll also get a Shadow Fell Warden, which needs to be interrupted. They'll cast Fell Conduit. To interrupt it, you need the Eye of Anzu. If your healer who is dispelling can interrupt as well, that's fantastic. If they can't or don't want to, throw it to a tank for them to interrupt the Shadow Fell Warden and make sure it gets back to the healer to dispel the bomb. I'd recommend killing the Priest first and then the Warden. At the third phase 2, at 30%, you'll also get a Fell Raven, but you'll no longer get the trash mobs. The Fell Raven will cause your tank to explode if it gets its phantasmal corruption off on them. So the tank with the Fell Raven needs the Eye of Anzu. Until a Fell Bomb is coming out, then a healer needs the Eye of Anzu to dispel, and then just throw it back to the tank, because the tank who is tanking the Fell Raven can also interrupt the Fell Warden, so that's perfectly fine. Kill the Fell Raven, kill the Priest, finish off the Warden, and then you can happily finish off Iskar. Handling these adds is the key to getting Iskar down. So that should be everything you need to take down Shadow Lord Iskar on Normal and Heroic. If you have any questions or queries, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you. Feel free to check out any of my other guides for Hellfire Citadel, Normal and Heroic. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time.